Christmas life for me. Hey, Arty Harmy Hearties, and welcome to the scoreboard video uh, tutorial, to be precise, where I teach you about how the scoreboard works. Now, you may wonder why I am not in a flat world or a super flat map uh, with a bunch of command blocks lined up in a nice row. That is because it took too long to actually. I have one. A world with lined up command blocks but going through them was not effective it was way too long and I don't didn't think it actually gave anything so I'm trying a different approach a lot of people have tried to make videos that have a bunch of command blocks where they show every command and it's frankly just boring and it doesn't you don't understand it uh, just because you can have seen every command, you don't understand how it works. That is what we're going to focus on. How does the scoreboard work? I have tried doing this before, so yeah. This is not the first attempt. Let's just stick at that. If you're wondering what I'm doing to just magically type words, is I'm pressing tab and it will show you every option there is uh, that you can type there. Here there are three options. In every command talking about the scoreboard we will start by typing slash scoreboard. The next thing we are going to do is, go, is to choose our category. That is how I'm going to put it. We're going to choose our category and this category is objectives. Objectives is something that you can get points in. Players is where you get the points. Uh, some or most of the categories you get points by doing stuff but the players er is where you can manipulate those points. Points are only given to players and to players only. You can't have points uh, that are directed to a team. Uh, you can by manipulating the scoreboard a little bit but we're going to go through that in the next episode. Objectives. A objective where you can get points. Players. The persons that actually get points. And teams is teams. You can create teams, give them colors and different properties and stuff like that. So that is the main, th the three main categories. In each category there are things you can do. That is the third word. The third word is what you want to do. You can list the objectives, add an objective, remove an objective, and set display. And uh, I'm going to add because that is the most complicated command. Uh, when you add a objective, first of all you want to give the objective a name and I'm going to call it Rambo because I am going to count how many things I kill. So, uh, the this name is the command name. People won't see this name. Uh, people on your map. This is only used to type commands. Okay. Now I can pre press tab and I will see all five things that I can show. You can read on the wiki what they do. I am going to select total kill count because that shows how many kills I've gotten. And then I'm going to show a display name which is going to be kills. The display name is what people see, what is displayed on the screen. Rambo is the name of the objective, kills is the name that is displayed. We have created a new objective that is called Rambo. I actually want to display that so I'm going to type scoreboard objectives because this is where I talk about or do commands about the objectives themselves. I'm going to set a display where it is shown 
which display do I want to use. List is the one that you press tab on servers and see who's logged in and the latency bar. Sidebar is a new feature that is shown on the side. Below name is below the name so you can't see that yourself. People can see your points but you and you can see others but you can't see your own points because you can't see your own name. So we're going to take the sidebar because that always shows unless the list and below name we can't see. Sidebar it is. Rambo is the name of our objective. It's going to display as kills but we call it Rambo. If you don't type in a name if we go back here Rambo total kill count if you don't type in kills it's going to use this name as the display name just as a note uh, but it is now displaying on the right the only problem is that we haven't achieved a point yet we are not in the score system because we've never gotten any points so I am going to take my Rambo and I'm going to kill these sheep that just happened to stay on that tree perfectly enraged to get killed. Kills Jars Crafted 2. I've killed two things and as you can see the display name not the Rambo which is the command name Ta -ta 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 -ta. A cow, yes. I thought there were no cows here. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, I've killed five things. What if I want to reset the map and have everyone's kills get set to zero? So let's go into the scoreboard. What are we doing now? We're not talking about the objective anymore. We're talking about the points. The points are given to the players. So we're going to the category players. Here we can set add remove reset and list so we can list a certain player's points in every category or in every objective there is. Uh, here I'm going to set, let's do this, set so we have players, our category, what do we want to do? We want to set the player's score and which player? We're going to select yours crafted. You could use at A or at P. And uh, we want to use the score or the objective. Rambo it is the command name. And we want to set it to zero. And there we go. And uh, we could also, instead of set, use uh, add or remove and the rest would be typed uh, the very same way so if I would take this set and type add and add one I would add one every time I type it in but if I would use set it would just set it to that so you should kind of understand how the scoreboard works right now and um, use the wiki page when using commands it always helps we're going to go straight into the teams and we want to add a team we're going to call the team Rambo now we're going to call it one and we also have a display name we're going to be called the Ram Rambos so we added a new team. The team is called one. It's the same as the objective. We have a name and we have a display name. So if we want to display the name of the team, it is going to be Rambos. What can we do with the teams? What are we gonna do with the drunken team? We could join the team. Seems like a good idea. We're not actually on the team yet. So let's join team one and who's going to join I am going to join and I joined it so I'm just giving examples I've already told you about how it's built 
the wiki page shows it very well uh, on how to actually build uh, commands so teams there is a last thing I want to say options for team one and you can use colors and I'm going to choose dark aqua because it has the underline it's two words if it's two words is underscore you can find all the colors you can use on the scoreboard wiki page link in the description and there we go the name is now displayed on the right as jar is crafted in dark aqua I can say hello world and it's displayed in dark aqua there are two other options uh, for team one uh, friendly fire and see friendly invisibles friendly fire true or false false uh, if you can see here you can choose true or false for the see friendly invisibles as well false for friendly fire is you can't hurt your enemies or your friends your friends people on the same team even if PvP is on uh, see friendly invisibles is pretty cool if someone on your team is invisible you will still be able to see him but that is it for this video if you would like to play on this map because it seems pretty cool I would like to play it on it myself if I had a single player uh, series which I don't have anymore because I don't have the time uh, yeah, but yeah uh, if you're going to use the scoreboarding system use the links they are very good if you understand a bit about how the scoreboard works which you now do I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you uh, the next time okay so let's look at the actual wiki page because I if you're going to use the scoreboard you're going to use this page so I thought I might throw in a little explanation to the page itself now here are criterias it's the objectives which you could use we use the total kill count score increments automatically for a player when they kill another player or a mob yes that's what happened so these kind of increase themselves you can reset them by using the set command health ranges from 0 to 20 blah 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 and you cannot change the health with the command blocks because that would be kind of cheating and it would probably be very strange the dummy can only be changed by commands and not by game events at all uh, for f uh, useful for flags state mapping and currencies uh, it's actually very cool and you can be very creative with this one display slots or display places the list sidebar below name showed that and here's the description on how to use that you can read that yourself here's some explanation some stuff but this is the main part the command reference very useful all of this and as you can see the tab feature that I showed you it's basically here it just tells you what the ne ne next stage is so all of these starts with scoreboard we have the objectives and here we have the list the things we wanted to do we have add right here and uh, name criteria display name uh, this is what I called the command name or it's the real name of the objective criteria the thing we talked about over here total kill count and then the display name that is the name that shows up here are some explanations to like uh, here if you create a new objective with the internal name name uh, internal name meaning that only you see it and the optional display name 
as I said it's optional if you don't type a display name it will use this name as the display name so this display name itself isn't optional but you don't need to specify it if you don't want to and it said that later in the text okay and here are some success conditions on the right side and you can see it's the same for everything this slot is talking about these up here it's for the set display and as you can see it's uh, it's pretty helpful it's it shows everything very nicely and as you can see scoreboard add uh, scoreboard players add if you want to add a point to a player you specify the player the objective and the amount you want to add it's the same for remove objective and this is with a space and players could be at a or a specified per player's name and uh, the objective is of course the name you used when creating the name or the objective the name name and that is basically how you use it it just shows you every command you can use